think this year's national was a great success? Yes, uh, and though I was uh, involved directly, I must say very honestly, it has been a, a, very, a very great success. Sir. I was very happy to see that Satish Mohan, who played better, won the title. Yes, he did play very well. Actually, there wasn't very much in it till the last one hour of the, uh, right. the eight-hour game. It was only in the last one hour that Satish came out with two brilliantly executed 300 breaks. And this put him in front and uh, he happened to fit Michael in the, in the, in the most important part of the game. Don't you think the snooker finals between uh, Shroff and Savur was as interesting as the billiard finals, sir? Well, yes, I certainly agree with you. I mean, they were very, very interesting until the end of it. And I feel a bit sorry that although Savur exhibited wonderful snookers up to five frames of his, he felt at a time when which uh, we wish that he had not. I quite agree with you, actually. I felt the same. There seems to be general awareness as far as the players are concerned. They're taking a lot more interest. And we're getting a lot more spectators coming to watch all the games, which augurs well uh, for, for both billiards and snooker. Well, that would be extremely good for the game, believe me. Yes, sir, here we are. Thank you very much, sir, for dropping me. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. Wilson Jones is a synonym for the game of billiards and snookers, not only in this country of ours, but I would say all throughout the various foreign countries that he's participated in, and he's earned the distinction of winning the world title for billiards twice so far. His achievements have been well rewarded by the government of India by awarding him Arjuna Award in 1962 and Padma Shri in 1965. Could you tell us something about your first contact with the Well, it goes back to when I was about 16, maybe even 15 years of age. And I was in school at the time, and I was living with my grandmother and my uncle. Now, to actually come to the part where I did get the first contact, I have to say a few words about my uncle. He was Mr. O. V. Massey. He was one of the finest hockey players that the India has ever produced. He used to play centre half. And if you refer to Mr. Dhyan Chand and Mr. Rup Singh and Mr. Jamison, I'm quite sure they will d definitely remember Mr. Massey and uh, what he was to hockey in, in that era. Well, my uncle used to play billiards as a recreation. And about a hundred yards down from our house, in Pune, there was a billet saloon. And he used to go there of an evening after work. At about 8 or 8.30, my grandmother used to say, well, it's about time we had dinner. You better go down and call your uncle. So I used to walk down to the corner. But more often than not, I wouldn't call my uncle immediately because I used to peep through the window and to see what was happening inside. The green table with the colored balls, if they were playing snooker, you see, and the particular click of the balls, which is very, very uh, nice to hear. 
I think this all sort of had a tremendous bearing on me and I felt that I would myself like to play this game. After a grueling eight-hour game, Wilson Jones of Bombay won the Western India Billiards Championship by defeating T.A. Silveraj of Bangalore by a margin of 550 points. Silveraj, who went down fighting, displayed a wide range of strokes and brilliant cue control. The winner received the cup from Mr. Jaka Mollard, president of the Bombay Provincial Billiards Association. With a deficit of 702 points, Hilji had really a hard task in the finals of a national billiards championship played in Calcutta. He was meeting the holder, Wilson Jones of Bombay. Jones retained the title with a wide margin of 925 points. The game went on for eight hours. The winner and the runner-up posed smilingly for our cameraman. Out of a participation of 20 times, commences from 1947 right up to 1966. The Billiards title has come my way on 12 occasions and I have been runner-up on five occasions. The snooker title I have won five times and have been runner-up twice. The World Championships I have represented India on seven occasions. 58 and 64 I was very fortunate to win the title on two occasions, and in 1962, I was runner-up. The happiest moment of my life was to win the world title for my country. And uh, I think I must recall one particular match, because at that stage, it looked very much as if the world title was running away. Calcutta stages the World Amateur Billiards Championship. England's Driffield is defeated. Australia's Tom Cleary fails to retain the title of reigning champion. The honour goes to Wilson Jones of Bombay. He has played five matches and he has won all of them. Wilson Jones has now put India on top in World Amateur Billiards. Then the world title came to India for the first time. So I can very safely say that that was the happiest moment of my life. As early as 1950, after he's been with us for a short while, one day he comes over to me with a smiling face, giving me the good news that he wanted to get himself engaged to a Miss Peggy Wade. Well, naturally, I had my own reactions to it, and I certainly told him that she must understand that she is going to be second wife to Wilson, the first one being billiard stable, which need not really worry her. Well, although he devoted so much time to the game, I must say he didn't shirk his responsibilities as a husband and a father. Well, what is her feeling about her son? Well, I'd like him to make a name for himself in some field of sport, not necessarily billiards. Do you think your, uh, your liking for football would you like to see in him? Well, yes. I wouldn't mind any game. 
Is he in the line with the Yes, he likes all games, except Williams. And where do you do? Do you have the expressions to earn the same name as your father has? Yes, I would like to make a name for myself in any sport, although it may not be billiards. It was a very, very strong feeling that I should retire at the top. Probably it was something to do with Mr. Merchant, who many, many years ago had uh, made a remark. And he said, Wilson, I feel that sportsmen should retire when they're at the top of their careers. Maybe that was the reason. But there were other reasons also which I felt were far more stronger. I felt that from a point of view of my family, it's about time I did spend more time with them. Apart from this inner feeling I had, plus this uh, uh, thought that Mr. Merchant had put in my, in my head, I decided that this was the right time to retire. Well, there would be quite a host of them to mention and I would find it difficult to take all their names but I would definitely pinpoint a few of them. Firstly, my family, those who are alive and those who have passed away and uh, then as I've already said, uh, Mr. Garpure from uh, Pune and uh, then Mr. Hollinson of the police in Bombay and uh, then of course uh, Mr. M. M. Begg. He actually was like a foster father to me, particularly in the early stages of my career and has helped me in, in many, many ways then come to my present employers, their encouragement, their uh, backing, the facilities they have granted me have been numerous. I will take the, uh, the opportunity of pinpointing one particular gentleman in the house of Visanji and that is Mr. R. K. Visanji. He's been very, very good to me. He's been confidant, a friend, a critic and uh, has helped me tremendously in uh, achieving my humble achievements in the world of billiards. As a player, I must confess I never did like him as a player. He kept beating me too often. But uh, uh, in all seriousness, I would say that Wilson probably figures amongst the top four of all time, along with players like Bob Marshall, Leslie Driffield and Tom Cleary. Uh, he was an extremely difficult man to beat in a tournament and because of his very cool temperament and great determination. As a person I would say he is even better than he is as a player because he is considerate, thoughtful, he is always ready to give a helping hand to any player who wants to learn. I can't see why very shortly, maybe this year or maybe in 1973, why India shouldn't win the world title. But it all depends upon the players and how much hard work they put in during this period and uh, how much sacrifice they can make so they can practice and dedicate themselves towards this aim of winning the world title for our country. In snooker, I think we are a little way behind. Not very much. The gap has been narrowed of late, 
as was seen in the last World Snooker Championships. And I think what we need is that these snooker boys, if they could go out more often, or if we could have somebody coming here, uh, like a professional or some very good players from England or Australia, and can play with them, I think definitely we will improve also in snooker. And uh, I think eventually that India should have a very good say when the time comes. Thank <laughs> you.